can somebody know a real man of God? I'll answer this uh, question in three ways. Uh, number one, I'll say somebody can perceive a real servant or man or woman of God by discernment. And this discernment um, is the ability to sense or to know something. And this discernment can be done by meditating. That's the reason why the Bible says in Joshua 1 verse 8 that meditate on this book day and night. Do not permit it to depart from your mouth. So as you are, dis uh, you are meditating, you'll be discerning some spirit then you will know that this is a man of God. Then number two, the Bible says you shall know them by their fruits. Meaning the flesh has got the fruits and the body has got the fruits. According to Galatians 5, beginning from 18 going down, the Bible says you shall uh, there is a fruit of the flesh and the fruit of the uh, Holy Ghost. So you will know those uh, false men of God by the fruit they produce. The other one is to test the spirit. According to 1 John 4, verse 1, the Bible says there are many spirits outside there. So test the spirit. Then in Revelation 2, verse 2, the Bible says you are good. You have tested those who say that they are apostles and find out that they are not. These, these three things that I've said, testing the spirit and uh, discerning and knowing them by their foot. The people can manage these three things are those who are Christians. Now, you can ask yourself, man of God, I'm not a Christian. I do not have discernment. I do not know how to taste. I do not know the food. What other way can I know as a baby Christian? This is for you. The Bible says one time Jesus sent his disciples somewhere. As they were at that place, the Bible says they saw somebody who was not part of the group of the disciples, who was not part of the, those 12 disciples who was casting out devils. They tried to stop him. They brought a report to Jesus and saying, Jesus, we have found this person. We have found this person casting out devils. We tried to stop him, but he's so stubborn. We have failed. Then Jesus said, anyone who is not against us is for us. So, it is very foolish to, for example, you're asking me, are you a satanist? You are, very, you are mad. The, why, the reason why I'm saying you are mad, it is because I'm not against Jesus. Jesus said, if anyone is not against me, meaning it's for me. So, if you see a man of God preaching the truth, that's a, uh, that's a real man of God. That's a real man of God. Some of you can be claiming, oh, how come they are mentioning Jesus? How come they, are, they have not met a demon? One time they will meet a, a demon. The Bible says in Acts 19, verse 14, the children of the priest uh, met a demon, and that demon told them that Jesus will know Paul, we know who are you. So when they meet, they are claiming to know Jesus, the time they will meet a demon, or those people have got discernment, they are going to be exposed. God bless you.